Hello, welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. We're going to look at a series of beers from a brewery that's been fairly well established in Japan, and that is Ise Kadoya Brewery. And Ise Kadoya uh, has been around for a long time. Well, as a sake brewery, they've been around since 1575. Uh, as a craft beer brewery, not quite so long, but still quite long in uh, Japanese craft beer history terms. They opened in 1997, and they're located in Ise City, uh, Mie Prefecture. And Ise is famous for uh, the one of the most uh, uh, renowned shrines in Japan, uh, Ise Shrine, and uh, the brewery. Uh, has a, uh, a tap room near two uh, two the two shrines. One is called Geku, and the other is Naiku, and they have a number of taps available there. Uh, they opened a new brewery in 2018 called the uh, Shimono Brewery, uh, so they've made quite an expansion. Uh, the founder of the craft beer section is named Suzuki San, and he has a PhD in microbiology, specifically in yeast, and so he's uh, well versed in that. And the head brewer uh, currently is a man named uh, uh, Deguchi, who uh, is really uh, adventurous and uh, putting out all kinds of new beers. Uh, and in fact, they've impressed me as being a brewery that's put out so many new beers in the last year or two, uh, uh, trying to maybe find core set. Um, they also have a, a souvenir line of uh, sort of regular beers called Shinto beer as well. Uh, there are two uh, places to try them in Tokyo. One is their Shinjuku restaurant, which apparently has four taps, and their Tokyo Yaesu Tavern, which has 13 taps. So they have many, many uh, seasonal beers and limited beers. Uh, they put out uh, a soccer beer uh, I think two soccer beers last year, uh, so uh, or soccer themed beers, a baseball beer. Uh, uh, so, um, in any case, let's move along, and we're going to look at uh, a number of their beers, and uh, we'll start with one right now. And here is another of Ise Kaidoya's beers. This is called Hazy IPA, and uh, if you are versed in craft beer, you know this means it's a, a hazy a New England IPA, uh, which are called hazies. Uh, and uh, it's 6.5%, uh, and I don't have the IBU information. Uh, it does say it has Galaxy Hops uh, uh, from Australia in it. Um, yeah. In any case, uh, so this kind of this style of beer uh, should have low bitterness uh, and a lot of fruit juiciness to it. On rate beer, this one has only one rating, and that's at 3.8 out of 5. On tap, there are 297 ratings at 3.93. The style is IPA, Hazy, or New England. Okay, so fairly high ratings overall. Uh, I have to admit, it's not my favorite style. Um, but uh, a well-made one, I can certainly drink it. Okay, it is hazy. <laughs> it is like a, like cloudy apple juice, or a mix of cloudy apple juice with orange juice, and uh, a very thin, thin sort of lightly fat bubbled sort of head. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the carbonation is hard to pick out through the haze. Okay, aroma. Okay, certainly does have that IPA or hazy IPA sort of New Englandy fruitiness, uh, kind of like a 
and how do you say, a mix of peach, grapefruit, and orange all sloshed together. These are not subtle beers. Uh, they they uh, kind of blast you with their one character. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, it's got the uh, peachiness, uh, trop light tropical fruitiness, uh, kind of sweet. Bitterness is very, very moderate here. Um, uh, the Galaxy Hops are really contributing their their element to this. Um, this is kind of mild, uh, mild manner uh, compared to many hazies I've had. Uh, smooth. Uh, it's not hitting you in the hitting you in the head with its juiciness uh, whatsoever. Is this is very pleasant. Uh, give this one a go. Uh, you may see this somewhere uh, where you happen to be. If you're in Japan, uh, you can order from them online. Uh, Isekodoi is a brewery well worth exploring. Uh, they have a lot of different beers uh, and they're always putting out something new. It seems like every couple weeks or even more frequently I see a new beer coming out from Isekodoi. I don't know how they do it, but in any case, uh, Give them a go and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's explore more Japanese craft beers together. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at uh, quite a few more Isekadoya beers uh, in this series, and I have a playlist for uh, that brewery's beers as well. So if you're interested in them, you can uh, take a look and, uh, and uh, learn a little bit more about them. Uh, all right, that's it for today. Bye-bye.